use similar triangles to solve for a missing length inside of a diagram. So here we have a flag with the sun behind it, and so it's casting shadows on both a flagpole and on a person. So let's assume, let's pretend we wanted to figure out what the height of that flagpole is based on things that we can measure in the, in the person's situation. So we have similar triangles floating around here. Let me draw them in. I'll draw in first a green triangle, which is formed by that, and then the shadow on the ground, and then the person. And then we have a red triangle, which is formed by this side, the flagpole, and the shadow cast by the flagpole. So inside of those two shapes, I'm going to now distinguish and take out certain pieces from each. So for the person in the smaller triangle, I'm going to take the bottom and label that as blue. And then in the big picture for the flagpole, I'm going to take that bottom and label it as blue. So we have a ratio of the smaller shadow, 3, to the bigger shadow, which is 20. On the other hand, let me take out this color orange and look at the height of the person, which is 6, and the height of the flagpole, which is H. So since I went small to big, I'll do small to big here also and say 6 to H. Okay, now if we perform some cross multiplication, H times 3 is 3H, and 6 times 20 is 120. So therefore, if we divide both sides by 3, you can see that H must equal to 40. So by similar triangles, we can deduce that the height of the flagpole must be 40. Okay, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this all other problem on your own. This is a river. This is a river. And we're trying to find out what is the length of the river, the width of the river through the middle. So assuming you pause the video, gave it a shot on your own here. Notice that we have right angles marked, 90 degrees. And then these angles are congruent to each other because they are vertical angles. So therefore, inside of the two triangles pictured, we can see that this 7.5 must be in proportion, or as a ratio to that unknown side, must be in the same ratio as this length to that length. So let's set up a proportion to solve for that. So instead of using question mark, I'll use the variable x and say blue x to blue 7.5, the right to the left, is equal to, in green, right to left, 40 over 25. So now we have a cross or a, a proportion. We can use cross multiplication to try to solve this. 25x equals 7.5 times 40. And 7.5 times 40 is, uh, so that's 300, right? Divide by 25. And when we divide by 25, we see that, uh, let's see, 25 goes into 100 four times. So it'll go into 300 12 times. So we're getting that x equals 12. So that river must be 12 units across.